guys, it's the Ricky and Lisa show and we're out in Forney, Texas at Gateway visiting David Weekly Homes. Okay guys, today we're going to be looking at the Easton floor plan. It's a three bedroom, two bath with 2,242 square feet and it has an extra study and an extra living room. Hey guys, we're going to be joined here today by Rachel, one of the sales reps here at David Weekly, and she's going to tell us about this awesome study right here. Okay, so in all of our homes, they actually do come with an open study, which means that you can use it however you want. If it's going to be a formal living, a formal dining, it can be. Um, if you want to close them, all of them can be enclosed. In this home, when you do, this wall is kind of where it goes to. You get French doors here, and then this squares up, and then on the outside, it's at an angle. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Is this shiplap right here on the wall? That is. That's a, that's a design feature you can add if you want. Um, depends on the length of the wall. I think that wall over there, the bigger one, is probably like two or three thousand, something mm -hmm. like that. Okay, guys, this is the study. Uh, it's it's open. You got this uh, shiplap looking wall here as a focal point. Uh, there's an option also to close it off if you want to, to make it like a true study. This is one of the only rooms we have that doesn't have a true utility room. Mm -hmm. If you want to get rid of the, that second living space in there, mm -hmm. you can, and then and it makes both of the bedrooms larger, and then you get an actual utility room. But most people really do love that second living space. Okay. Well, they, okay, so this is called a retreat, but in my mind, what it is, it's a second living space. Yes. Right? It looks so, like a living space, yeah. Right, and if you had a two story, this would be considered like a loft or something like that. Okay. Does that make sense? It makes sense. Okay. So it's between your two Secondary second bedrooms. Mm -hmm. okay. And this is a secondary bedroom. So Rachel, what is the ceiling height in here? The ceiling height is 10 feet in here. It's actually 10 feet throughout the home. 10 feet throughout the home? Mm -hmm. That's standard? That's standard. Okay. And what about no the closet? Fan? No, it does not come with a ceiling fan. Mostly in this home, what you'll see is standard lighting. We do have a couple of ceiling fans in here. If you do want to get a ceiling fan, it's about 190 for that ceiling fan installed. Okay. Two. This will be uh, another secondary bedroom there here. There you go. <laughs> and you'll see it still has those 10 foot ceilings. You can add the ceiling fan if you want. A lot of our, a lot of our buyers don't add ceiling fans because the home is super energy efficient. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Now that you said energy efficiency, tell us a little bit about energy okay. efficiency in your own. Well, I actually have a room back here where I can show you what I'm going to tell you. Do you want to go back there? Sure. Okay. So I think this is really handy because you can actually see what I'm talking about. So most builders traditionally uh, build with two by fours. These are two by fours. And when you, do, when you build with two by fours, they actually have to be 16 inches apart in order to hold the weight. Mm -hmm. Um, the rafters in the ceiling, however, are 24 inches apart, so what you wind up doing is having them coming down at different intervals, mm -hmm. and therefore you have to put the second layer of wood here in order to hold the weight, okay. right? Mm -hmm. We use two by sixes, as you can see, they're quite a bit bigger. I mean, here's an example of a two by four and a two by six together. Is, is this just for the, the exterior walls? These are just the exterior walls, um, but you can really see the difference in how much more, how much bigger the wood is. Mm -hmm. So we may use less pieces of wood, but they're much larger. Okay. So when you use two by sixes, you're able to put them 24 inches apart, just like the rafters. So the weight is evenly distributed all the way down. That's called advanced framing. Okay. Very, very sturdy. The other benefit is you get about 50% more insulation in the home. Because of the, the wood six inches instead of four. Yeah, there's a couple things. One is you have more width there, but you can also use a higher gauge of insulation. So. Most builders use a 13 or a 15, an R 13 or 15. In, when you talk about R rating, the higher the, higher the number, the better. Right. So we use an R19. And then on the outside of the walls, um, in the olden days, they used to use this black tar paper. I'm sure you've seen that, right? Right. Now a lot of builders have gone to using Tyvek, which is, have you seen that? I've seen that. Kind of like a white, it's kind of like paper with a plastic covering or something. Okay. So it does help keep the water out, but it doesn't have any insulated value. Right. We actually use this foam board. Can you see how thick that is? And that actually has an R value as well. So oh, that, really? Yes, it does. Okay. It has an R value of 3. So when you add the 19 and 3 together, you get an R value of 22. We guarantee how much your heating and cooling usage will be for the first three years. Okay? So you'll get a certificate like this. Um, they're going to do that through all the different stuff we put in the home, and then of course all the diff we do several layers of third-party um, testing to make sure that it is installed properly and all that kind of stuff. Okay. 
So you do get it. You, so that big home next door that we talked about, uh -huh. this is the certificate for that home. This tells you actually how many watts you'll use of electricity, how many uh, gas, how much gas you use. And then it gives you uh, an idea of what that would be per month on that yeah. home. Estimated monthly cost for the home energy bill is $91? For the heating and cooling part. And yes. how big is that house? 3,300 square feet. Wow. And that's because you guys have the low E windows and the low radiant windows, barrier. The radiant barrier, all that stuff. A lot of builders, well, like for instance, uh, one of our competitors does pretty much all the same stuff. However, they don't have thicker walls. So right. no matter what they do, they can't get more insulation in the home. So that's that's the big di difference mm -hmm. between you and them. Mm -hmm. Okay. That and then because we do all those testings along the way, we actually guarantee the heating and cooling. Why do you think we only do it for three years? I don't know. Because you actually have to maintain your home. You have to change your air filters, oh, service your water water heater, that kind of thing. Or over time, you'll start to lose energy efficiency. Okay. okay. All right. Now, do you guys have uh, the tankless water heater? Tankless water heater. Yep. There it's where it is right over there, and that's standard in and our that's homes. that's standard in your homes? Mm -hmm. okay, One awesome. of the ways that we get our energy efficiency as well. Okay. Are you familiar with the tankless water heater? Uh, not really. So it's really kind of great in two different ways. One is you and a, le a thousand other people in a row could take a shower and you'd all have hot water. So it just makes hot water as long as you need it. But the other thing is it actually saves you money. How many hours a day do you think you actually use hot water? Probably between the four of us, yeah. probably about an hour. An hour, okay, maybe some days, maybe a little bit more if you're doing a hot load of laundry, laundry maybe two hours, or something like that. So maybe two or three hours, right? Right. Even so, if you have a tank, your hot water heater, if you have a tank, has to keep that heat to that level all day long. So, so even though you're not easy. using exactly, even though you're not using it, it's having to turn on all day long to keep that water heat. So you actually save energy and money using that. No one. Okay, water. it's energy efficient as well. Mm -hmm. So hi guys, I'm taking over this part of it. And Rachel, I want you to tell me what comes standard in this kitchen. Sure, okay, so we've actually changed some things along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, the granite, level one granite is standard and there's several choices. Okay. Um, this is one of them. Um, actually, both of our models we use as standard. Okay. okay. And then we no longer use the sink. As a matter of fact, this isn't even available. The sink that we have is always undermount. And you can either do one big bowl or two bowls. Oh, it's up to you, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so the 50 50 bowl, or is it? Um, so if you do, if it's one big bowl, it's just one big bowl. If you, otherwise, it's 50 50. 50 50. Okay. okay. And then uh, it does come with the microwave, the stove, and the dishwasher, but we've actually changed to Frigidaire now as standard, and it is gas. Oh, okay. okay. It'll be gas. Okay. Now, these, fr these uh, cabinets are upgraded because they're painted. So if you get a painted cabinet that is upgraded, if you do something stained, it'll be standard. Okay. And then um, one of the, this island is standard, the, the size of this island is standard. And mm -hmm. how big is this island, do you know? I do not know off the top of my head, but let's guess. What do you think? Five. Like? It looks five, about like five-ish by nine. Yeah, Ten. <laughs> so, no, yes. Well, you know what? Okay, from this finger, I love the way you guys like measure. That's that's a pretty good way to measure. Circle to that fingertip is five feet, so that's five. Oh, yeah, there you go. I think you're right. She got a good guess. Mm -hmm. There's one other thing that's changed. You see these two doors here? That's the pantry, right? If you go have a table, it is the pantry. And there's no there's no uh, wall dividing it or anything. Okay, it's just one big space. We now, if you were to build one of these instead, you get like French doors here. Oh, okay. So, makes sense. Sense. so, so this wall doesn't here doesn't go isn't here anymore. You just open this way. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So I don't know if you noticed in the dining room, all of our dining rooms have this this space here with the they have the windows, mm -hmm. but the windows start up higher, so you still have room to put a buffet if you want to. Okay, that's nice. And then it's a good size. It's not like the size of like a breakfast room or something. And you can put a really nice big table. Like I said earlier, most of the light fixtures in this home are standard. Mm -hmm. uh, what's upgraded in here is the fan. And this room right here has a, a few extra of these uh, surface mount LED lights. So these are all standard in here, but those okay. have a few extra. Are you familiar with the surface mount LEDs? No. So they look like cans, but they're not. Um, they have a five-year warranty on them. Mm -hmm. So I talked to the vendor last summer, and he said, if it makes it past the five years, it'll probably last 20. So they have okay. a long last time. Okay. And they also help with energy efficiency. Sure. Now what about the flooring? Um, so this is an upgrade in this home. 
Uh, the home comes with carpet and tile standard. Uh, this is an engineered hardwood, mm -hmm. and we have so many choices when it comes to upgrade flooring. You can do oh. a rigid core vinyl. You can do a, la a wood laminate with a really nice pattern underneath. You can do engineered hardwood. You can do nail down hardwood. Um, you can do wood lip tile. So lots mm -hmm. of choices. Awesome. All right, guys, follow me to the master bedroom. So are these are these ceilings top higher than the other ones? No, nope, these are still ten feet. They're still ten feet. Yep. Got the big, big tall windows that people like with a lot of a lot of light can come yeah, in. Yeah, and there's a couple of them that open there. So these are those kind of windows that you can open them all the way so you can clean from the inside. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's a good feature. Okay, guys, here's the master bath. So this bathroom right here is pretty standard. That's a standard tub. It's a tub shower combo. In all of our homes, we can do the bathroom four different ways. So you can just pick this. You can replace this with the shower in the same size. So just a shower in lieu of tub. You can move that tub over here and have a tub with a separate shower. Okay. Tub and shower. Or you can do a super shower that goes all the way across. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. wow. And then the window moves around depending on which one you do. Okay. That makes sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is the uh, tile in here an upgrade, or is this a standard? This is this is an upgraded tile, but it's not it's not very upgraded. Okay. So you got the the, the dual vanity. And here. that's that standard there. And a nice big closet, uh, throne room. Yep. <laughs> throne room. <laughs> yep. You, yeah. Seen one. You've seen them all. <laughs> and then here not. is your closet. Yeah, it's a pretty big, big closet. closet. So we got a built -in now. For you. Is the built-in part of... Yeah, this is all standard in here. As a matter of fact, I think it actually might come with an extra one that the designer probably didn't have a put in. I think it actually comes with another one that goes across That's that what way. I was just about to ask you. Do any of the closets come with, like, double runs? Oh, yeah, they do. Most of them do. Okay, cool. So, I mean, I haven't seen one that didn't, so... And then if you want to add some extra storage, you can when you go to the design center. But, yeah, this is standard in here. It's a good what size. What kind of things can you add to the closet? So if you want to do like a true like shelving system or something like you would at the container store, mm -hmm. they have that. Oh, they can do that. Mm -hmm. wow, I didn't know that. Yes, did you know that? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Okay. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you where the retreat was in relation to the rest of the home. So here it is. We've got the secondary bedroom, the third bedroom, and then back here to the kitchen. So it's just right off of the kitchen. A few final questions. Um, how much does this model home run for? Okay, so it starts off at two seventy nine, mm -hmm. and then in this home we have probably about twenty thousand dollars worth of options in it. So if there were no discounts, it'd probably be uh, right about three hundred thousand. Okay, okay, and it was twenty two forty two square feet. Twenty two forty two. Forty two three bedroom two bath. Mm -hmm. A living area, uh, extra living area, the retreat mm -hmm. area, and what was the other? And a study. And a study. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a really good size home. Anything else that you tell us about the home that we've missed? Hmm, I don't think so. I think it's a really good home. Mm -hmm. And you know, it has flexibility, so if you want to use it different ways, you can. Sure. Lots of different ways to change up things. Like I, I didn't know about upgrading your closets. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't. I didn't well, know I was referring more to the retreat. Like for some people, it's a great place for kids, right? But yeah. it's also great for. I don't know if you have an elderly person, you know, your mother or something coming to live with you. Now she has her own living room. You don't have to watch oh, yeah. her stories, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. And then that front area, the study, could be a formal living or a formal dining. If you need that, then you have that. Okay. Any other questions, Ricky? I don't have any other questions. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap it up here. Um, thanks for joining us for our first episode of Model Home Monday with <laughs> Ricky and Lisa. Don't forget, we're with Epps Realty, and that's 213 East Davis in Mesquite, Texas, 75149. And you can reach us by phone, 972-289-7788. And again, that's Ricky and Lisa and Rachel's with David Weekly. Thanks, y'all, for joining us. Bye. Bye. Bye.